Welcome back everyone to Learning Petition. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 16.64, okay? It says, the pinion gear A rolls on the fixed gear rack B with an angular velocity of omega equal to 4 radians per second. Determine the velocity of the gear rack C. Okay, so what we see in this picture over here, we got two racks, rack C, rack B, and in between them, well, we have the pinion gear that is rotating at this omega uh, angular velocity, okay, 4 radians per second. We're given that the radius of disk A is equal to 0 0.3 feet, okay? So, as always, I always like to start my problems of writing out my givens. So, I have that omega is equal to 4 radians per second. And that's basically all the givens that I have for this problem in the problem statement, at least. Okay, so, for this problem, what we're going to utilize is the equation for relative motion. And this equation, is, or relative motion for the velocity, is this 16.15 where we have that the velocity of a point, let's call it B, is going to be equal to the velocity of another point called A, plus the relative, that's why it's called relative uh, motion, the relative velocity of B with respect to A, okay? So we're going to do a very similar approach where we have that the velocity of C is going to be equal to the velocity of B plus the relative velocity of b with respect to uh, I'm sorry of c with respect to b okay so the first thing I want to point out in this in our equation is that well the velocity of z is equal to zero of b is equal to zero and why is this velocity equal to zero well if we pay attention into our problem statement it says that rack b is a fixed gear rack meaning that is no moving it's just fixed so the velocity of a point b is equal to zero. Now, the velocity of C then is only the relative velocity of C with respect to B. Well, we need to know how fast is this rack C moving, and we can do that by. Well, it's better if I do we do like a little diagram. So this is our pinion gear, and we have my point B over here. I have my point C in here, and I want to know how fast is this moving, knowing that I have this distance R, that I'm going to call it C relative to B, right? It's calling like the distance of C with respect to B. This is our R, and if we know that this pinion as well, is moving at an angular velocity of 4 radians per second, we can utilize my equation 16.a, where we know that the velocity of a point, so in this case point C, when we know the angular velocity of a disk, in this case a pinion gear, okay? So we can say that the velocity of C re with respect to B is equal to omega, which is 4 radians per second, multiplied by this radius, which is equal to, well, the radius from B all the way to C is equal to twice this 0 0.3, meaning 0 0.6, okay? If we plug this into our calculator, it will give me 2.4 feet per second. One of the questions that you may ask is, hey, but the radius is 0 0.3, there, this is a diameter. Well, you can think of this problem as basically my disk is twice the radius like this is actually our real radius that we're looking at because we're looking from B all the way to C, okay? So that's how I like to think about this problem. So to not get confused why the radius is the diameter, the actual diameter of this pinion gear A. So now that we know that, well, we know the relative velocity of C with respect to V, we can plug it into our equation. Basically the velocity of C at the end of the day, is just going to be 2.4 feet per second. And we just found out our answer for this problem. So I hope you guys liked the video. Please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Thank you.